All right, everyone. So get ready because college football is coming. And the number one story I think that's going to dominate this season once again is Deion Sanders in Colorado. It's going to be a different narrative because this is how the media operates. Instead of trying to keep things in the middle, they either go way over the top in favor or way over the top against. And so we have now a story coming out of Athlon Sports. We're reading it cited in Bro Bible. So we're going to read you this report and then his response to it because both are important. So the Colorado Buffaloes had a huge weekend for the spring game at the end of April. It was a star-studded affair, which included a concert with five-time Grammy Award winner Little Wayne at CU Event Center. However, not all of the details of, from Coach Prime's major event were spectacular, according to CU player sources, which is Colorado. Sanders made the concert mandatory for all of his players and reportedly threatened to dismiss anyone who skipped. The Wayne concert was the final straw for a few players who hit the transfer portal, a source said. When Coach Prime told us we all had to be there to support Shadir as a rapper, they were not happy at all. To be honest, it was nothing but a huge distraction and daddy ball was being played. So this is, you know, kind of once again, and this is one thing when you're looking at the media, you have to understand is a lot of times sources with a gripe against whoever the, you know, topic of the story is, they're going to use things that people already kind of think, right? So what is one thing when you think about Colorado right now is a critique of Deion Sanders and what people may think? Well, that he's favoring his kids, right? Or that his kids feel like they're bigger than the team. That kind of stuff is what, you know, so of course the sources are going to play into that. Now, does that mean everything being said here is not true? Everything in here it very well could be the case. This source could be telling the truth. But sometimes the truth and the entire truth are two separate things, meaning you could tell us that this is all true, but leave out important context to a certain situation. So Deion Sanders responded to this on Twitter, and he said this. We're going to read his tweet. This is one of the best lies I've heard. God bless you, and I pray you sleep well tonight because we are Lord Jesus. So he was talking about that article you know so dm doesn't go into any further detail he's just saying it's not true now nobody necessarily knows what the truth is you have two people saying two opposite things you can determine what you think is the truth but i i do think this is a bigger story just based off the fact that and we've i think reported on two of them already the Deion sanders you know media train is going to now this season face heavy heavy criticism and it's one of those things that last year, you know, it kind of started out red hot. So people were like, oh, my God, are they going to make the college football playoff? And then it derailed. But because of the hot start, there was really no real critique of him, right? This year, I think it's going to be a little different. I think the media, like we said in the beginning, the media doesn't know the middle ground. The media knows we're going to be way over the top in favor or we're going to be way over the top against. And I think you're going to start seeing the way over the top against this year. And you're already starting to see it in these kind of unnamed sources speaking out. And, and, you know, I will say this. I'm sure that there's, you know, genuine reasons why some players left Colorado. I'm sure, you know, Deion Sanders and his program are not perfect by any means. And I'm sure there are things that are unfair. I also think it's kind of unfair that when people are leaving Colorado, like these guys are transferring, so they're done. They can go get a fresh start or whatever. There still seems to be this, like, want to dig at the program anyways to call kind of you know take these shots and you're not even putting it out for everybody to see you're you're putting it or with your name behind it you're going from an unnamed source it just feels like one of those things that look if somebody asks you hey why'd you transfer from colorado and you give you know your answer that's one thing but to just go to these websites and to say i left because we had to go to a mandatory concert it just does i, I don't know it, who knows what actually happened? You know, certainly if there's a lot of favoritism being played, that is an issue. But Dion's saying it's not true. So I wonder if, you know, anyone else is going to look further into this. And if they do, we will see what, what the truth is. So thank you all for watching. We'll see you next.